Good day everyone, this is Onion. It's Saturday, April 3rd. Uh, this morning I'm going to go over uh, Sundial Growers with you, look at some technical insight, uh, short sailing activity, institutional holdings, uh, the Reuters report, and some quant computer uh, estimates. We'll also look at uh, some analysts and, and just a basic overview uh, of Sundial. Uh, I like to use a six-week chart for the technical analysis. You can see last week there were a few uh, bearish indicators triggered. Um, and I did mention, I've been covering this for about a month now, and I did mention that uh, when the 21-day and the 50-day moving average uh, cross, uh, you know, that's going to be the sign, a, a strong sign of, of reversal and bearish uh, momentum, and that's obviously what's happened here. That's pretty much been confirmed. Um, all the lower indicators are saying the same thing, but they're starting to level out a little bit. You know, you can see the MACD is, start, is starting to, you know, uh, even out a little. It's not, you know, on a, on a steady downtrend, so that's good. And it's, it's staying pretty much the same distance away from the average line. So, you know, it's, it's still in a downward uh, momentum, but not a strong one. It, it, it's going down fairly, uh, fairly slowly. Um, you know, momentum, the same thing. It's still below zero, uh, but it is leveling out. And then all the other indicators, uh, you know, are saying the same thing. They're, they're either sideways or uh, pointing down slightly. Um, your RSI right now, the same thing as, as leveled out this past week, and it's sitting at around 42. So um, it's not oversold or overbought. It can go either way. Uh, right now, the indicators are showing uh, sideways or, you know, slight uh, down movement. Um, your support line, you closed that support yesterday at a dollar, or on uh, Thursday at a dollar ten. Uh, and your resistance is going to be at a dollar twenty-nine. That's going to be the twenty-one, the blue line here, the twenty-one-day moving average. So it'll be interesting to see. We're going to get confirmation. If it goes, you know, either below the one ten, if it goes below the one ten, it's definitely a sign of of uh, downward uh, movement. Uh, and if you break the the one twenty-nine or the one thirty mark, uh, you know, that will show, uh, you know, show uh, a reversal going upward for sure. If we look at the short selling activity here, there wasn't uh, actually uh, Thursday was very very heavy. Um, uh, compared to the, the previous days, you can see it was 32%. And it's been a while since it's been up that high. It was back on March 19th. Uh, you know, this is a whole month of March here, uh, a little bit of February there too. But uh, the whole month of March, you can see um, Sundial, it, it gets a lot of uh, short selling activity, right? There's a lot of volume here. You can see, you know, mid, mid to high 20s is, is average. But, uh, you know, Thursday was fairly heavy. Uh, the borrow rate was a little bit higher and, you know, the same amount of shares uh, were available. So um, the short sellers are finding, uh, which is a little surprising, they're finding this price attractive to, uh, to sell short. So, uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens uh, there next week. Um, institutional activity, uh, there was there was one ownership, uh, they, they reduced their shares a little bit, um, actually quite a bit. Uh, you can see, so the total ownership has dropped uh, from 1.53% of the float uh, to 1.09% uh, of the float. Uh, and there's uh, 54 institutional owners, and the institutional put-to-call ratio is 0.88. Uh, a value here of one would be equal uh, buying and selling, uh, or sorry, equal buying of uh, puts and calls. So right now you can see that it's a little bit uh, heavier on, on the call side. Uh, if we look at the, uh, uh, this is the, the quant computer estimate uh, for Sundial. It's fairly accurate. I, I like this. Uh, I like this report. Um, and you can see here it has a fair value of $1.51. Uh, but you got to keep in mind this is uh, up here it shows you the reporting currency is in Canadian and the trading currency is, is U.S. So that's one fifty one Canadian, which is roughly $1.25 uh, U.S. So, you know, we look here. If we have all the numbers in here. Uh, ex like, finally, uh, it's been a few weeks now. I've been showing you guys this report. We finally have all the numbers that, that are needed. So, um, you know, the uncertainty is still extreme uh, on their scale here, as, we, as you can see. Uh, but it's fairly accurate. So, you know, a dollar twenty-five is the quant computer's estimate, and a dollar twenty-nine is your re is your resistance. So, you know, a dollar twenty-five is pretty good. Um, if we look at the uh, at the Reuters report here. Um, I like this report as well, and if you guys don't get this, I'll, I'll scroll down so you can, uh, you know, you can pause at any time and look at it. Uh, but right now, uh, uh, Sundial has an average score of one out of ten, and it's actually uh, in the worst 258 stocks in the uh, in the stock market. So um, it has it has bad uh, a bad rating here. Um, but I'm not going to go over this whole report with you. I'm just going to uh, scroll down, and you guys can uh, you know pause it whenever you like. There are a few things I want to show you. Um, we have the, uh, all the earnings in here now, and you can see the last six earning uh, reports have been negative, but it has been an improvement. Uh, it has, like, it was a negative 37% uh, on the report date uh, in the middle of March there, but 
you can see, you know, it was at one point negative 1,200%. So it is improving uh, quarter by quarter uh, slowly. So, you know, that's a good sign. It, it shows a little bit of strength there in the company. Uh, and then if we look down, uh, the last thing I just want to show you is we went over the institutional ownership there. Uh, and then this report also shows you the, uh, the top owners and what they hold. Uh, let me just get to the bottom here. Oh, there it is there. Uh, so you can see here, these are your top institutional owners, and this is the percentage and the amount of shares uh, that they that they hold on Sundial. Uh, so if we just look at, uh, I'll show you the analyst uh, rating. There hasn't been any upgrades um, since uh, last week, I believe, or, or last weekend, since the last time I reported this. Uh, at, at, with the average of four analysts, uh, you get your price target of, of 74 cents. And you can basically see here, these are the analysts and these are their targets. Yeah, see, the last one was uh, was a maintained sell rating at, uh, on uh, March 20th. Uh, so these are your targets here, and you can see, you know, they're pretty much in line, except for uh, this one here is it's driving the average up a little bit. Um, if now, the other thing I wanted to show you was just a general overview. Um, you know, there, there's been a lot of talk, like uh, this offering uh, that came out, the $800 million offering. Uh, I haven't, still have not seen anything uh, saying that it has been exercised already. Um, but I do have the shares outstanding. Uh, my broker, uh, you know, they, they update this uh, daily. And it's, there's 2.2 billion shares in the float right now. So, you know, I don't have any confirmation that this offering was, you know, bought and, you know, sold on the market or whatever. But it's, this, this sh is showing me that it is. So if that's the case, with the $1.10 and, and, uh, uh, close price, the market cap is 2.5 billion. It's really getting high. Um, and then even the price of sales, uh, it's 50.8 uh, times. So, uh, you know, normally this is a, a, a method, to, you know, the price to earnings is a method you would use for valuation. Uh, but because they have negative earnings, we have to use price to sales. And if you use it, like a 50.8 uh, ratio is extremely high. Like normally um, startup companies and that, they're in around 20, 30 is considered high. So you, you can see Sundial is really high there. Um, and then other than that, uh, there hasn't been any news um, that came out. There's a few fluff articles, uh, you know, last week, uh, you can see here, um, that moved, the, you know, nothing last week, but the, the week before, there was a few articles here that moved the price a little bit. Um, you know, but it, we, we had some news about New York uh, legalizing uh, in, in mid-March, uh, you know, uh, Mexico legalized, uh, and it doesn't seem to be affecting uh, Sundial's price that much. Uh, anything is driving it down where when the sector is actually moving on an upward uh, uh, trend. So uh, you might just want to keep that in mind as well. Um, I, I, anyway, I, that's it. I hope this helps. Uh, have a great Easter weekend and, uh, and a great week uh, trading next week. Uh, take care.